The reason I am using science to explain to you the word of God these days is because of some people who think because they are well read and so they, they, they know book or they are well educated and they know more than Christians and they know more than God. I want you to hear this word relating to science so that you can tell your friends and make them to know that even science now is waking up. Scientists now, more than 90% of scientists on earth begins to consider and to know that really God do exist. Good morning. My name is Joseph Adenoga. I welcome you to I Prevail with Joseph Adenoga Daily Broadcast, a broadcast that is intended in bringing you encouragement and motivation. I am here with the word of God to bring healing to your spirit, soul, and body. As you hear the sound of my voice today, re receive your healing. You will be healed in every area of your life. Be healed financially. Be healed emotionally. Be healed in your body. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Yesterday I was trying to explain to you the fact that it is science discovered that the same material that God used in making the plant is the same material that is in the inanimate object like stone, rock, and things that does not have life. It's the same material that is in the animals. The same material was used to create even the human beings. And when you look at it, you see, we can generate electricity using the river or a dam. You see, they, they dam a river and from there they make electricity. You can see that human beings can also make electricity using the solar system. But you know that the shocking fact that science discovered these days, they put two, two bananas together, they connected them in one way with some wires. And do you know what? It produced electricity. Bananas, I mean the bananas we are eating. They connected them together with wire and they discovered that it produced electricity. They said, no, this cannot be true. They took apple, apple fruit, and they connected these two apples together and guess what it produced electricity that means that the same material in the water the same material in the water that produces electricity is in the sunshine and that is why we can generate electricity through what we call the solar system or the solar energy can produce electricity and so you also remember that they can use wind to produce electricity and now we discovered that even there is electricity in the in the fruits that we eat and we have always known this that that there is electric power in the heart of a man not only do we generate electric power we also gene generate magnetic field of power from the heart of a man now what is the implication of all this scientific discovery it tells you that you living in this body can do anything that you can desire to do and that is why the bible says that all things are possible to anyone that believe in the book of job chapter 22 i think it's verse 28 the bible says thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. You see, when God made man, this is what God said. He said, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion. You see, you are not ordinary. You see, the reason why I'm telling you these things is because I want you to understand the fact that you are not ordinary. You are not ordinary. You see, let me tell you about you. You, you God gave you a very powerful, you, you know, heart. You are not this body. And that is why I, I want to tell you, they can generate electricity through the body of a man. And that is why, I don't know if you have experienced this, sometimes when you wear a cloth for some time and you just discover some charges of electricity in your cloth. Your cloth have, you see, have, you know, taken in some electricity from your body. You see, you, you are special. You are 
an energy and that's why we used to say that people should be careful of the kind of energy they allow to affect them because every man that is moving on the face of the earth carries a certain level of electrical and magnetic energy and that is why you can be affected by another person either positively or negatively and this is what happens when we talk about the flow of anointing. You, you can be imparted with the anointing of God upon a man. And this is what happens when healing takes place. When a man of God lays hands on another person who is sick, there is a transfer of healing energy spiritually from the man of God to the one that needs the healing. Let me tell you, you've got power. I want you to begin to discover the you that God made. You are not ordinary. That is why the Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, it says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. You are more than this body. I don't know how much you weigh. When you die, you will still weigh that same amount. Hallelujah. Before your body begins to decay, when they weigh you, you will weigh exactly the same as you weigh before you die. Your life in this body cannot be quantified, cannot be weighed. You have something that is more than this body and that thing can control this body. It is a power that can change the chemistry composition of your body. That power can bring healing to your body. That power can bring a change to your world. You have it. Use it. This is what God sent me to encourage you this morning. I want you to use this power. I want you to use this grace in you. You are more than this body. Is this body of your sick? You have power to heal this body in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Begin to use the power that is in you through the name of Jesus because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I'm going to stop here. Thank you for listening. And I know it is well with you. Joseph Adenuga once again signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.